Ladies and gentlemen, it is your buddy here. It is the most electrifying host. It is Team Rai Rai. How is everyone doing? Once again, I'm doing quite well. Anyway, it is time, once again, to get this party started. And I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you, my listeners. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab whatever you want to eat, grab whatever you want to drink, because this will be a very interesting topic to discuss on my podcast. Now here goes nothing. Now, if, only if, you listen to the earliest podcast, I discuss a little preview about the AJ Styles injury what took place last night live at the live event at Master Square Garden in New York City. Now I'm gonna go more detail on it. Okay. AJ Styles got injured. Um the referee did that um X. I guess they stopped the match. Um you guys can read the full article. And um, let me tell you what they said about AJ Styles. Styles is fine and is not injured. That is a good thing because WrestleMania 34 is is coming around the corner. Styles is slate to defend. I think I pronounced it wrong. I apologize. Defend his W title against the number one contender who won the men's. Royal Rumble this past January, Shinsuke Nakamono at the biggest event of the year for a sports entertainment company is WrestleMania. Live in New Orleans, Louisiana. And that is a good sign, okay? You guys could read the article, okay? I cannot imagine if this was a serious injured for AJ Styles, then he's then W's gotta come up with a plan B. Probably they're gonna come up with a tournament like that time when Seth Rollins got injured at the live event, and then before you know it, W's gotta come up with a plan B. They gotta come up with a a tournament, and Roman Reigns won it. Then. I think Sheamus cashed in that same night. Not really too sure. Then they had a little feud. And before you know it, Seth Rollins came back and the rush is history. So they always had to come up with a plan B. Um, I guess you guys can read the article. But in my opinion, maybe he just tweaked his knee. And then people thought it was a serious injury. But probably backstage they put some ice on it. And hopefully he don't have to wrestle um tonight or tomorrow he should just take some time off and he could be ready um for uh, next week next uh, next monday or whenever he's back in on tv i think next tuesday live, live smack on live so he, he should just rest it you know because all those shows he's doing it's just live events you know but Whatever he's want to do, you know. He's not a spring chicken anymore. Um, he's a great performer. Hopefully they'll be put him in the Hall of Fame for a short WWE uh, career. Um, so I was very uh, nervous because I, I, I am going to be there live and other people, other wrestling fanatics are going to attend that event. Not just because AJ Styles, they want to see John Cena versus Taker. That match should happen in my opinion. Like 10 years ago, when Taker is in his prime, same thing with John Cena, but whatever. Um, so, so, I forgot to mention what will be, in their opinion, will be a good main event. John Cena versus Taker to close out the show. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns to close out the show. Or last but not least, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamono. For the WWE Championship to close out the show. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Brock Lesnar versus 
um, Roman Reigns for the Universal title to close out the show. I prefer, actually, there's two options in my opinion. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamono for AJ Styles title to close out the show or Taker versus John Cena to close out the show. You know? Now, if this is Taker's last Mania, they should have them to close out the show. You know? They've been saying this is the last run for Taker. We all know for sure until it is over, you know? You know? If this is it for Taker, then next year definitely he'll be in the Hall of Fame to headline it, you know? He should headline it this year the way he went out last year, but I guess McMahon uh, convinced him to come back next year for us being 34. I mean, this year, because in my opinion, between Roman and Taker, it was okay match. I was alive. It looked like Taker was not really in physical shape. I mean, he was in physical shape, but not mental shape for that match, you know? Taker is not a spring chicken anymore. So, um, let's see what happens. So, and let me read this about DX from the referee. This leads to one referee throw up the X sign. Styles was helped to the back. This lead to Shinsuke Nakamura defeat KO in a single match that saw a finish once Sami Zayn interfered. Um, Styles came back out with a steel chair and attacked Owens and Sami Zayn. So you guys could check this out. I don't know if the video is on internet. Most likely it is. So like, subscribe, leave a comment. And leave a comment about this article. And thank God that um, AJ Styles will be ready for WrestleMania 34. Now... I guarantee if this is serious injured that they got stripped the belt from AJ Styles and probably they would discuss it on the internet. It would be like breaking news, you know? But overall, they're not going to discuss it on Raw or SmackDown Live. They're not. I'm going to be right. I'm going to be wrong. So have a good one. See you guys in ladies' next edition. Thank you very much for listening. Now, if you missed... The earlier podcast, go listen to it at the end of this one. Goodbye for now.